Hey, what's going on guys? The Reaper here bringing you guys another how-to video today using the video pad editor. And this is something a lot of you guys might be interested. I don't really know. But uh, yesterday I had a lot of free time on my hands, so I decided to start working on trying to make an intro with this program. Uh, I don't know of anybody who uh, has made any intros with it. I haven't really seen a lot of videos out there on it. But uh, it, it is kind of lengthy to do, or at least it was for me because I was uh, learning everything. So as you'll see here, uh, I brought, I've brought i got each part of my name broken up uh, into individual video tracks. That way I can uh, add different effects to <clears throat> each part of it and animate them separately to make them appear as, as they are appearing on screen. Um, so basically the way that uh, I broke this down was uh, I made all of the clips the same length so or not the same length they all had the same ending time of course that way they appear on screen together and then uh, let's see I guess I'm going to show you the preview here recording over a video so I'm just checking what it looks like um, so let's see uh, the effects that I have on each one of these is old film noise and the position. The old film uh, just gives it that shaky, creepy kind of look. And then the noise is actually the static inside of the individual letters. And you have to use the position to actually move the letters around to the different areas of the screen. And so you have to line them all up perfectly and everything like that. So I just left the offset at zero for the Y and just moved the X around and actually moved them uh, left or right on the actual screen itself. Um, and then I left, did my timing at 0.3 seconds. Everything starts uh, starts at zero, and then at 0.3 seconds, at 0.6, at 0.9, and so forth. Uh, I just felt like that was a really good speed for uh, the letters to come across the screen and stuff like that. Okay, so after I got all that stuff set up, uh, I just went in and of course exported it and uh, set it up to where uh, I could edit it as an actual video clip. And so then uh, on my last video that I just threw up that quad feed, um, I don't have this image in here. Uh, this is something actually I started working on after I uploaded that real quick. But uh, I realized that I wanted kind of more to it than just the Reaper. And I knew that I did. I just forgot to mess with it before I uploaded it. Uh, so now I'm going back in and I set up how I wanted to uh, basically add in more to my intro. I wanted to have a picture. So that's what uh, I did. I just went into Google Images and searched Reaper and found something that I liked. And. Uh, so the way that you have to, I have to actually add this in here for uh, everything to line up right. What I have to do is go into my intro right here, uh, you know, where I just have the Reaper showing up, as you can see. Now what I have to do to actually get this to show up behind everything is you have to go in and add an effect to it. And that effect is green screen. So if you guys don't know how green screen works, basically what it does is it filters out uh, the color of your background and it shows any kind of image that's left behind it that doesn't have that color on it. So since my background was black from my original AVI file that I created, I went in to configure effect and actually I'm going to show you on the one that I actually have. Delete that. Go here. And I have my green screen, or aka actually my black screen here. I set the background color for black because that's what I needed to filter out to show the image uh, behind it. So I just set my color there, clicked OK, and you go to close. And I've also got some uh, uh, sound effects here that I downloaded uh, actually from the video pad. And where did I pull those from? Let's go, oh yeah, I went to audio effects, and if you just go to NCH library, 
it brings this up and you can just download a whole bunch of different audio effects. So that's what I did. I downloaded Explosion 3 and Explosion 5. I like the way those two sounded together for my intro. So I just downloaded those and I put those onto my clip. Bada bang, bada boom. And that's good to go. So we'll go to a little preview here. And it looks like crap there, but I uh, trusted that I knew how it was going to turn out. And so let's see, i got to make this smaller here. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this up. And I'm going to show you guys the final product here. And I entitled it Intro 2. And besides that, it's not really a whole lot else I think I have to show you guys. I'm trying to think of anything else I can do in here real quick. I'm trying not to make this video too long. But uh, if you guys have any questions about how to animate the text or anything like that, just uh, ask me and I'm more than willing to help you guys out. Oh, one last thing that I wanted to show. Uh, you'll know who you are who's watching this. If you take your video that's in here and you go to effects, go to add effect, and go to crop, if you still have those black bars at the top right here, all you gotta do is just drag this right here and it'll edit out the top of it right there. So if you're still having that problem, I 100% guarantee you this will fix it. And I know you'll be happy to see this. So you can do it either the way that I uh, showed in the last video, or you can just go in here and mess with these settings. So I need to get rid of that though. Delete. And I think I am done here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section below. Click the like button on this. Uh, favorite it. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, this has been The Reaper. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Stuff like that.